Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you all the pendants. We can start with the Cedar pendant. This is a pendant for beginners. You only need level 20 to equip it. Therefore, its stats are pretty damn low. If you're like me, you're high level players, you will never use this. But it's pretty good for your first pendant. I'm not sure if it's worth the Glurbos, but that's another discussion. You actually need to buy one of the Cedar pendant at least to get the next one to unlock it. And it's the same for all the pendant rings, you have to buy the previous to unlock the next. And then we have the fish head pendant, you need to be level 40 for this one. And this one is actually useful for everyone. You gain more fishing XP, you gain purple depth, you know, that's a pretty hard word to say. <laughs> and purple should be the bloaches, so with this equipped you will catch more bloaches. Other than that, there is nothing special about this, except that you have to buy one to unlock the next one. So you have to buy the fish head to unlock the deathly cluster pendant. You need level 80 for this one. Increases mob respawn by 10%. I'm not sure if that works offline or only online. But uh, it should update in the AFK gain once you have it. So you will find out. So this one could be either be pretty good or pretty damn useless. Depending if it works offline or not. But anyway, you actually have to buy one to unlock the next pendant, which is the Hallowed Tail Pendant. The Hallowed Tail Pendant, you need level 110 for that. And this one is really good. It gives a few stats, but it's the 30% multi-kill we want. It's especially good for barbarians doing the sow killing, the apocalypse sow skill, where they have to kill 100,000 of each monster. Equipping this one will speed it up greatly, because you will simply kill more with each swing. And once you bought one of the Hallowed Tail Pendant, you may be able to buy the last pendant, which is Persephone's Bouquet. You need 140 for this one, so I can't actually equip it. It gives a few stats, but 15% skill AFK gain. So this one is perfect for your, your skillers, like your miner and so on. Uh, sadly, the fish and this one can't be equipped both at once, because you know they're both pendants. But other than that, I would say this one is better than the fish anyway, if you have to choose. And that's all the pendants. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.